Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going to talk about Netflix OSS on Kubernetes. My name is Christian Posta. I'm a principal architect at Red Hat. I travel around North America helping our enterprise customers um, build cloud-native applications on top of Kubernetes, um, the microservices style applications. And whenever you talk about microservices and especially enterprise, that's usually Java and our enterprise customers typically go to, down the path of looking at what the Netflix uh, folks wrote. The, they wrote an open source, and, and, which is absolutely amazing that they open sourced it, and, they, and they're building a wonderful community around it. They wrote these tools, things like Hystrix and Ribbon and Eureka and Zool and so on and so on, um, about five years ago when they were going and, and bringing their applications into AWS. They built out things like distributed configuration, service discovery, load balancing, circuit breakers, those types of things uh, to be run in uh, Amazon's cloud. The, the thing that I really like about building applications on top of Kubernetes is it has a lot of that stuff built into where it comes out of the box. So we don't have to you know, force our application developers to use Java, for example, just to use service discovery and, and the ribbon libraries. Uh, we get that kind of stuff baked in for any programming language, and you don't have to use any specific types of clients. So you can just use DNS and get service discovery, for example. Um, and we don't want to, we, you know, you've heard that uh, keep, keep the infrastructure boring. Kubernetes keeps distributed systems boring. It has a lot of that, uh, those fundamentals baked in. Now, what if you really want to use the same libraries on top of Kubernetes and you want to use things like Hystrix for doing circuit breaking and so on? Well, in the Fabricate community, uh, we have a project called Kubeflix, which allows you to use, reuse the same APIs and use the Kubernetes service discovery and uh, load balancing and health detection, liveness probes, all that stuff as, as is. So it will use Kubernetes under the, under the covers. Has anybody heard of the Fabricate community? Just curious. Okay, awesome. So if I can, it's going to be tough holding the micro microphone here. I'm going to try to show a quick, quick demo. Um, this talk is actually based on a blog post that I wrote that goes into a lot more detail. Uh, go ahead and check out my blog that it goes into a lot more detail. But so we're going to look at, we have an application deployed into our Kubernetes cluster. I don't know how well you can see that. We have a Hello World backend service and a Hystrix uh, based application that'll call into our simple Hello World service. But what we want to do is deploy the Hystrix dashboard so that we can see those circuit breakers at runtime and use Kubernetes discovery to find those circuit breakers, uh, well, which applications are, are running the circuit breaker. To do that, we're going to install the Hystrix dashboard and the Turbine dashboard using Kubeflix. If you come into Fabricate and click on documentation, we'll go to the, I'm running this on OpenShift. OpenShift is awesome, by the way. Um, Click on OpenShift Manifest, and we have a lot of prepackaged applications that will run inside of OpenShift. So what this is is the, um, the resource files, the YAML resource files. We're going to take, uh, if I can find it, the Hystrix dashboard, and come over here and install it. We're going to get the Turbine dashboard. Oh, I missed it right here. and install it. And the last thing we're going to do is, let's see how we're going to do this. <laughs> um, oh, so you get service. We're going to label our service. History, we're going to enable Hystrix by labeling our service. And I'll show you here, OC label uh, Hystrix hello world with uh, Hystrix.enabled. It's true. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Running out of time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> OC label, what did I do? Hystrix, hello world. Uh, am I? No pressure. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> am I doing it wrong? Am I missed? <sighs> Screw it. We're going to go over it. We're going to do it this way. Um, Trying to be fancy. Edit it. Uh, save it. It worked. Awesome. So now we go over to our Hystrix dashboard. Um, right here. See it running. 
ask it to monitor the streams. There's no, there's no traffic going through it yet. So let's go here and give it some traffic. Traffic, 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 traffic. All right, now we come over here. Where's Hystrix? We should see some traffic. Now, any, any, if I scale up, then those Hystrix endpoints will automatically be discovered by using the Kubernetes Kubeflix uh, discovery mechanism. So that's all I have. Thanks. Thanks, <laughs>